Hey everybody, welcome back to Hair by Hannah. Today I wanted to show you a way you can do a hair mask at home using products you probably already have or that you can easily get. It's super simple, you only need two things to do this and it's very effective, I do this quite often. So let's get started. So before I do my hair mask, I always clean out my sink and then I clean my sink after. I wash my hair in it because hair in the kitchen, bleh. Now I have all of the food or just grossness that might be in my sink. Um, I cleaned all of that out so that it doesn't get into my hair. And then like I said, after I wash my hair, I also clean my sink again. Before this, I'm just going to be using my uncut conditioner. I have the lavender mint, that's the kind I always use, and then also my uncut remedy oil. So when I do this, I use about probably two tablespoons of conditioner. You do not need this much conditioner when you are using it just as a um, conditioner rinse. For the hair mask, I use a little bit more. Then I use about five drops of oil. So one, two, three, four. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna go with eight drops. <laughs> it doesn't hurt to add a little extra. Uncut hair care does make a hair mask. So if you wanna make things easier, you can just buy the hair mask. But I don't have the hair mask right now, so I'm just gonna use what I have at home. All right, you can barely see it in there. The amount that you'll need is based on how long your hair is, so definitely if you have shorter hair, probably only a tablespoon of conditioner and then a, like four or five drops of oil. Um, my hair is pretty long, so I'm using two tablespoons of conditioner at least. I might need to add more, but we'll see. I'm going to go ahead and wet my hair in the sink because the mask does smooth onto your hair a little bit better when your hair is wet. You can do it wet or dry. I've just found it's a little bit easier if your hair is already a little bit wet. You will just leave this on your hair for about 20 to 30 minutes. You can leave it on as long as you want, but definitely leave it on a minimum of 20 to 30 minutes. I like to leave it on about 30 minutes and then I do stuff around the house to just pass the time. Typically when I do a hair mask, I don't put it on the roots of my hair because I already have very oily hair. So if you wanna put it on the roots of your hair, definitely do that. I did put it on my roots this time because the it, we're in the middle of summer here in Arizona and it's super hot and so my hair has just been so dry. So while this is sitting in my hair, I'm just going to go fold some laundry or pack some boxes, something like that to pass the time. Now it is time to rinse your hair. You want to use a mild but also effective shampoo to rinse out the oil in your hair, especially the scalp. So I'm going to be using this sea salt scrub shampoo. I take about this much to go ahead and wash my hair. So it doesn't lather the first time you use it, but it does the second time. You'll take it up about the same amount and spread it on your hair and watch this.
As you can see, when I wash my hair with shampoo, I focus on my scalp and then I let the shampoo run down through the ends of my hair. But I don't scrub the ends of my hair with shampoo. And this is because there's really no oil or moisture in the ends of your hair. Um, so you have to be really careful not to scrub them too much because it can dry them out. So I just let the shampoo kind of gently run through the ends of my hair and no scrubbing and no rubbing or anything like that. But the oil still rinses out just from the shampoo running down so they, my hair doesn't dry with that wet, greasy look at all. Even though I just did a hair mask, I'm still gonna condition my hair because I always condition my hair after every wash. Hi, Mom. Hi, baby. This is the amount of conditioner I use. A little goes a long way. This might actually be too much, but that's okay. Typically in the shower, I will let my conditioner sit on my hair about five minutes. But right now, since I just did the mask, I'm only gonna let it sit for about a minute and I'll just massage it through my hair and then go ahead and rinse it with cold water. Using my baby towel, it's a microfiber towel. It's just a lot more gentle on my hair than using a rough body towel. My hair has towel dried for a little bit, so now what I'm gonna do is put some of my Mend and Defend on. This helps with split ends and just dry damaged ends, and it's also a heat shield, so you can use this before you use your heat tools. You literally just rub it on there, warm it on your fingers, and you barely need any, it's very effective. Smooth it on the ends. I think it works best when your hair is a little bit more dry, uh, but I found it also works okay when your hair is wet. And then I'm just going to put my hair back in my towel and let it towel dry for a little bit longer. One product I always, always have is this conditioner. Um, I use this every hair wash. It's really helped with my hair elasticity. My hair used to just snap almost because it would be so dry. Now I've noticed um, that my hair almost has a stretch to it and that's because this conditioner has helped a lot with my hair elasticity and so I definitely recommend if you have dry brittle hair um, trying this conditioner. Anyways please check back for more updated videos. I do post every Monday and or Friday so definitely check back and check out all of my other videos. Thanks so much for watching.